differentiation and positioning, once the segmentation process, gives a clear picture of the market, and the target marketing strategy has been selected, the positioning approach can be developed. Success requires a sustainable strategy, that is differentiated from competitors. A higher probability of success, can be achieved if, the marketing mix, is arranged so that it is unmatched by competitors. Positioning, is the process of creating, in the mind of consumers, an image, reputation, or perception of the company, and or its products, relative to competitors. Positioning, or repositioning, then, is the perceived fit between a particular product, and the needs of the target market. The positioning concept must be defined, relative to, competitive offerings, and consumer needs. No company can win, if its products and services, resemble every other product and offering. As part of the strategic brand management process, each offering must represent the right kinds of things. In the minds of the target market, although successfully positioning a new product, in a well-established market may seem difficult. Method products shows that it is not impossible. Beyond deciding which segments of the market it will target, the company must decide, on a value proposition, how it will create differentiated value for targeted segments and what positions it wants to occupy in those segments. A good differentiation implies that consumers must find something unique and meaningful about a market offering. These differences may be based directly on the product and or service, but can also be based in employees, channels, image, or other relevant offer characteristic. The differentiation and positioning task consists of three steps. 1. Identifying a set of differentiating competitive advantages on which to build a position. 2. Choosing the right competitive advantages and selecting an overall positioning strategy. 3. Communicate and deliver the chosen position to the market. To find points of differentiation, marketers must think through the customer's entire experience with the company's offer. To build profitable relationships with target customers, marketers must understand customer needs better than competitors do and deliver more customer value. To the extent that a company can differentiate and position itself as providing superior customer value, it gains competitive advantage. Suppose a company is fortunate enough to discover several potential differentiations that provide competitive advantages. It now must choose the ones on which it will build its positioning strategy. It must decide how many differences to promote and which ones. To be branded, products must be differentiated. At one extreme are products that allow little variation. At the other extreme are products capable of high differentiation. Differentiation can be based on product, on service, on people, on channels, on image, or as it happens most of the times, in the combination of several dimensions. Not all brand differences are meaningful or worthwhile. Not every difference makes a good differentiator. Each difference has the potential to create company costs as well as customer benefits. A difference is worth establishing to the extent that it satisfies the following criteria. Important, the difference delivers a highly valued benefit to target buyers. Distinctive, competitors do not offer the difference or the company can offer it in a more distinctive way. Superior, the difference is superior to other ways that customers might obtain the same benefit. Communicable, the difference is communicable and visible to buyers. Preemptive, competitors cannot easily copy the difference. Affordable, buyers can afford to pay for the difference. Profitable, the company can introduce the difference profitably. According to Kotler and Keller 2013, a good positioning has a foot in the present and a foot in the future. It needs to be somewhat aspirational, so the brand has room to grow and improve. The real trick in positioning is, to strike just the right balance between, what the brand is and what it could be. The result of positioning, is the successful creation of a customer-focused, valued proposition, a cogent reason why the target market, should buy the offer. In other words, positioning is the way, the product is defined by consumers, on important attributes, the place the product occupies in consumers' minds, relative to competing products. Positioning was popularized by Jack Trout and Al Reese in the 1980s. For Al Reese, positioning, is not what you do to the product, it's what you do to the mind of the prospect. The competitive frame of reference defines which other brands a brand competes with, and therefore which brands should be the focus of competitive analysis. 
The positioning process can be summarized in three steps. 1. Determining a frame of reference by identifying the target market and relevant competition. 2. Identifying the optimal points of parity and points of difference, brand associations given that frame of reference. 3. Creating a brand mantra to summarize the positioning and essence of the brand. Once managers have fixed the competitive frame of reference for positioning, by defining the customer target market and the nature of the competition, they can define the appropriate points of difference and points of parity associations. Points of difference, or PODs, are attributes or benefits that consumers strongly associate with a brand, positively, and believe they could not find, to the same extent, with the competitive brand. Associations that make up points of difference, may be based on virtually any type of attribute or benefit. Strong brands may have multiple points of difference. Besides, point of difference must have three characteristics, they have to be desirable to consumer, deliverable by the company, and differentiating from competitors. Points of parity or POPs, are attribute or benefits that are not necessarily unique, to the brand, but may in fact be shared with other brands. These types of associations come in two basic forms, category and or competitive. Category points of parity are attributes or benefits that consumers view, as essential within a certain product or service category. Competitive points of parity are, associations designed, to overcome, perceived weaknesses of the brand. For an offering to achieve a point of parity on a particular attribute or benefit, a sufficient number of consumers must believe the brand is good enough on that dimension. There is a zone or range of tolerance or acceptance with points of parity. The brand does not literally need to be seen as equal to competitors, but consumers must feel it does well enough on that particular attribute or benefit. If they do, they may be willing to base their evaluations and decisions on other factors potentially more favorable to the brand. Therefore, in many circumstances, the key to positioning, is not so much achieving a point of difference, as achieving points of parity. Marketers typically focus on brand benefits in choosing the points of parity and points of difference that make up their brand positioning. Brand attributes generally play more of a supporting role by providing reasons to believe or proof points as to why a brand can credibly claim it offers certain benefits. For choosing specific benefits as points of parity and points of difference. To position a brand, perceptual maps may be useful. Perceptual maps are visual representations of consumer perceptions and preferences. They provide quantitative portrayals of market situations and the way consumers view different products, services, and brands along various dimensions. By overlaying consumer preferences with brand perceptions, marketers can reveal holes or openings that suggest unmet consumer needs and marketing opportunities. To further focus the intent of the brand positioning in the way firms would like consumers to think about the brand, it is often useful to define a brand mantra. A brand mantra is an articulation, of the heart and soul, of the brand and is closely related to other branding concepts like, brand essence and core brand promise.